working or continuing their education, which means they're also 98% more likely to reign supreme from the corner office someday. Bottom line, you're more likely to get a job. These are my materials that I'm using that I have. I have construction paper, I have crayons, and markers, and glue, so I might draw the... <laughs> Tucker, what are you doing? And Tucker's gonna help me. But this is like an example of my friend made for me. <laughs> that Tucker's carrying away because his toy's under it. But that my friend made for me. Um, that's a painting, honey. That I think would be an example. I'm doing the wild colors. Um, Favors, favorism, favorism. I don't know. I can't remember what it's called. Favism, fav, favism, maybe something like that. Favism. Anyway, I'm doing the wild color one, where it's con um contoured lines. Tucker, we're just gonna have Tucker do it for me. I'm not very good in art. Tucker, you wanna do it? I bet you'd be better at it than me. <laughs> but this is my dog, Tucker. And I guess he's gonna help. Tucker, are you gonna help? Yeah, I'll set this TV up. I didn't think I was gonna be recording. Thousands of our neighbors are struggling to put food on the table. We want to help. So every time you change your oil at Midas, come Sorry. But anyway, yeah, this is the, the, the painting. My friend did a little bit more organized, but I didn't know I was going to be recording it now. It's too cute because Tucker's in it. So I don't want to hurry to do it. But, Fauvism. There we are. Wild Colors, Fauvism. That was something like that. But, they, this was big in, this is around 1907. And I've seen examples of this in um, art museums. Pretty much any art museum will have examples of this. Yeah, it's kind of like the beginning of the Art Deco painting era. But I've seen examples of it, and I really like it. But yeah, with, it's just basically this contour drawing of of people, usually. And maybe some environmental factors around it, around them. Like in this case, there's a... Um, well, it's in the shape of a heart, but it's supposed to be the sun. Or it could be the moon. You don't really know. But they're just kind of outlined um, markings or drawings. You can do them with a black sharpie. Oh, yeah. That was in part of one of my things. And now I don't have a black sharpie here. But anyway, I have a black sharpie in the other room. But I might use the glue, too, because my construction paper is actually black. That's what I had. This is what I had on hand. You're actually supposed to use painting, as my friend did. He did the proper way. Um, you're supposed to use paint to do this. You can use watercolors or, like, an acrylic paint, I think it said. Um, yeah, acrylic paints, which I assume that's what this is. Let's see, he's an artist. Oh, see, the moon's outside. Ha! There's the moon. The sun's inside. So, anyway, it's kind of supposed to be like a halo sun. But anyway, I think this is what there's what it's supposed to look like. But obviously, I can't draw like this, and he can. And anyways, um, well, I I didn't go out and buy any watercolors. Obviously, I wouldn't have acrylic art or paints. But I was gonna go to Walmart and get watercolors, but they said I could substitute. And since I have this stuff already, um. I was just going to use it instead of going driving all the way out there. I'm already running way late and buying white construction paper. But I would buy like white construction paper normally. Hey, Tuck, you're going to help me. And this is Tucker. Hey, say hi, Tucker. He's going to, he's my little helper. I could draw him. Hey, you want to be drawn? I could draw your face. It's so cute. So anyway, it had markers and crayons, but you're supposed to, you know, you can use, I was going to do, instead of the, you can use the Sharpie to draw the outskirts or the, like a face or a body. And then you could have, you know, some other objects around it, depending on what, but it's the focus part it, point is of a person. And you could also like use glue. And since I can't draw very well, I was just going to use glue to do a, like a raised out 
cert of a face. Probably just do a face because I can't draw very good. And Tucker, he just has paws, so he can't draw either. But he'd probably be a good artist if he could draw. And then you use um, like wild colors, give it the name to um, fill it in, including that you know the borders or the outside, as you see he did in this one. And that's what I'm gonna do. And um, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, and then the wild colors, so they're gonna be not realistic. So like, you know, people are not this color. And if I did a face, you may do the face in orange, but they're gonna be bright, unrealistic colors of what you're actually drawing. So anyway, uh, enough talking, I'm gonna get to work. Say bye, Tucker. Ha. Bye.